Alrighty, so welcome everybody. As you can see, we're going to be playing a little spooky game I've got today. This game is called Sinners, and it's actually made by the dev of Pokemon Dusk. You know, the guy who made that whole series, Dusk, Dawn, Nightfall. And it's an original thing that you can get on Steam. It seemed like a short little thing. I wanted to give it a try, because I heard, I heard about this a while ago, but I just never got around to trying it. You see, I think it was released a couple of years ago, just as a little thing for fun. You see, remove the bear. Available in English and German. You can even see the me the main menu looks like Pokemon Dusk. Oh, but no, no Pokemon menu noises. And I believe it's voice acted, so let me turn it up, because that's the whole point, is some guy talks to you over a microphone for the game. Let me make sure I turn it up. Boopity boop. Get extra comfy. Let's see what this is. We got a couple of short things today, so let's start with this. Boop. Start new game. Change language. Okay. This is just the window size and all that. I checked that before. Start new game. Hold that thought, everybody. You see how loud I need to make it. Mm -hmm. Ah, finally, you're awake. I know what you're asking yourself. No. Where you are, and why you're here. You should leave this room to find out. Alrighty then, can I move? Yes, I can move. Okay. Let me turn it up a bit more. No subtitle option. Let me take a look. Now, I've seen early versions of this player sprite... And the face looked really, really too similar to Pokemon characters in the past, so I think they I think they altered it a little bit. A weird voice spoke through this speaker. I turned it up a bit more because that was kind of quiet. You can see spider webs on those old wooden crates. Empty tin cans and boxes have been stored here. Alright then, I guess we're leaving. Welcome to my dungeon. I can't tell you why you're here. That would be too easy. There are three doors in front of you. Door one is already unlocked. Cool. You should take a look. What if I don't want to look in door one? I think Dev is also VA. Mr. Prince dubbed it in both English and German, right? Locked. You see, look at me go. Boxes were emptied uh, a short while ago. What was stored inside of them? TV. Okay. Save game. Familiar save screen. The elevator is blocked by thick metal bars. He could open it. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't let, let you leave, leave that, that easily. easily. Oh no. Don't taunt me, Mr. Riddler. Switch won't work. Elevator might be controlled by remotes. I know what you mean. You meant now, Minard. You can definitely see the the Pokemon <laughs> asset inspirations for sure. Let me see. Can't check that. Dust on the crates was wiped off. Someone was sitting on the crates. A lot of dusty books are on the rotten shelf. Morning, everyone. How you doing? Weird scratches do adorn the table. Are they human? Diary of a Captive, Part One. Where am I? How did I get here? I hear that strange voice through the speakers talking to me. The voice doesn't tell me why I'm here, but he tells me what I have to do. This music. This was used in Pokemon Dusk. He is everywhere. These speakers are in every room. He won't leave me alone. Why? What does he want to tell me with this? Why do I deserve this? Will this be my end? Will this be my end? <laughs> So poetic. Making fun of them. What's your problem? Mysterious evil voice. Don't worry, we just started. We've been live for a few minutes here. The very first story is about a family. Mm -hmm. One day, a schoolboy commits suicide uh? out of the blue. The father leaves the family. 
the mother stays. Okay. One day, a schoolboy, uh, eh. The father leaves and the mother stays is... Hang on. Okay, okay these push. Um... Which one's supposed to be the schoolboy and the mother? I actually can't tell. I, I want to say that's the schoolboy. Hang on. It said father leaves, so I push it out, right? Okay. Can't check this. Am I supposed to push it out the cracked window? The windows aren't real. Let me try this. No. Nope. Okay, is it because it's the wrong one, or... Hang on. Common TV, like every household. Hi, Ram. How is Syria? How you doing? Blech, I can't talk. Built-in kitchen is waggly and probably not real. Okay. So we're on an Ikea room. Let's see. Dummy fridge. It doesn't have any function. I think I need to reset it now, because I can't get that one out of the corner. Can't reset. The very first story is about a family. One day, a schoolboy commits suicide out of the blue. The father leaves the family. The mother stays. Okay. Well, I think I had it right. This one's definitely the father. I need to push it out because he leaves. I can't seem to skip that, so... Make sure I get it right. So does this one get pushed to the window? Because I don't know where anywhere else where they'd um do that to themselves. Oh. Yep, we got it. You can only see darkness outside the broken window. Jumping out would be too risky as you could die from it. Well, this one stays. Does that mean I did it? Like, what? Oh. Okay, I just move it to the center. I have the volume up loud, by the way, because the vo uh, to hear the voice acting. So if there's like a jump scare or something, I'm going to be real annoyed because I'm going to hear the full force of it. A, a hidden cubby hole was in the mother's statue. Put your hand in it. Why not? Metallic object. I think the mother goes there because they're watching the uh, father leave. She cried blood. No, not that. I don't know if I can die to a lot of things here. Hmm. Oh, hey. could no longer bear the loss of her son and the resulting loneliness. In the end, she killed herself. Oh. Sad story, right? Yeah, sad story. With this key, we'll be able to open room two. Okay, sorry. I thought he was done talking. The father's statue looks horrifying. Oh, I see what you're doing. Moving that thing. What happens if I go back in? Okay, hey, nothing. Let me go make a save. Look at me go. Legally distinct. I'm not a Pokemon character. What a ridiculous suggestion. Darn. Thought it was a trick and I could use it for door three. Door has been unlocked. You thought the crying was coming from behind you. <laughs> the good old funfair. So many people visit these kind of attractions from year to year, hoping they would win something. Do you think you're a winner? If so, you can try to beat the shooting range. But don't forget to keep the safety distance. Now have a good time. I like to think I'm a winner, chat. I think I'm a super cool winner. Shooting range, hit 11 targets to win a prize. Telescope that is directed to the speaker, for what reason? Lantern is dimmed and spreads with a melancholic atmosphere. Colorful balloons are flying around. Slot machine has seen better days. These plants have been put in place, but they're already withered. Try it out, I, I guess. Hope the sound effects here aren't super loud. Okay. Get that deer. Pop. Watch this. Pop. 
It came right at me, chat. Had to take it out. Aw, oh, darn it. That one was speeding by. Got him. Pop, pop. I'm not in a position to lower the volume right now. I'm focusing on the deer. Pop. Pop. Got ya. Uh. Oh, no. Was that one real? Hey. It's not funny. The pistol doesn't work anymore. Something is sparkling inside the bullet hole. You want to grab it? You got the uh, key for room three. And then when I arrange this bat this riddle for Batman, he's going to shoot the targets. But he's going to hit a real deer, and he'll have to get a key from it. <laughs> the spawn was a lovely animal, wasn't it? Well, too bad. All right. Let's go solve the next riddle. Let's make a save at my TV first. Save game. I can't seem to open up any menu on my own, like an inventory. I wonder if anything's changed. No. What was this? Are they human? Does that mean there's going to be monsters here? Oh, what if there was a teddy in prison there and those are bear claws? I got to make everything about the teddy urses, don't I? You know, it's a good thing there weren't really Teddy Ursas in the Pokemon Dusk series, because I couldn't deal with having to take out a zombie Teddy Ursa. Door has been unlocked. Oh. Lonely dark streets, which are solely illuminated by lanterns, to dream of every trucker. But sometimes, like in real life, stones could block the way to our goal. Just like with our trucker here. Can you show him the right way? Okay. Try that. By the way, like, I did do a marathon of those games back in October, if you want to look at that playlist. I've been plugging it a lot lately, and people told me it's fun. So, it looks like I need to get the truck to go all the way around, or... Hang on. How do I start it? Do I hit this? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, easy enough. So maybe I have to put the push the switches while it's in motion though. Does it have to end hitting this rock, I think? Hang on, let me check here. Is it going to go under the track? I I feel like I need to test this, but first let me make sure it, it has a there's a path first. Let's assume I don't have to adjust it first. Okay, that goes there. That hits there. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. That means, uh, with the way it is now, actually, it's going to get in the way. Will it go under this or crash? I'm kind of confused. Maybe it's a perspective thing. Goes like that, then it's going to... Okay, it doesn't look like I can have them all set up at once, so it needs to... Okay, so I want to do that after. No. Hang on, if I hit this here, then it loops around like this. So if I start it up right now, I want to see if it goes under this or just crashes, because I'm, I'm kind of confused. Two, one. Wait, what? It reset! Oh, so when I start it up, it resets, and I have to, like, go configure it along the way from scratch. I see. All right, then. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Now it's going to loop around like this. It's going to do that. Wait, what? Uh, that didn't work. Let me try again. I feel like I'm going to be stuck on this one for a while. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So we know I need to hit this one first. 
Help along, chat. Help along. Because <laughs> I'm going to be stuck on this for a bit. Hang on. Let me get a drink. We can do this. So first... Hit that one. Go through the corner. And we hit that one. Then after it reaches the turn... I hit that again. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, I, I, I have, um... Let me see here. So I can just kind of do that. Let me see. The help bear? Hang on, I'll put it up in a second. I just started it. Do that one first. And we do this one. And after it turns the corner, we hit that again. And we do that. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Okay. Let me see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I have the help Tenny ready? Of course I did. I was playing Earthbound yesterday. Oop. The help bear is there. You can help me. So I gotta pull up. I need to grow my brain a little bit. Let me see. Can I get hit by standing in the way? I don't think so. Can you do that? I feel like that would just waste time, though. All right. Oh, I didn't hit the switch. Darn it. I was waiting. I was thinking to step ahead for some reason. Start it up. Hit that. Hit that. And then we hit the switch again after. When it gets to the top, then we hit the one in the top left. Okay. Do that there that there and is it this one? Oh no it's not okay we're, we're making progress we're making progress i just gotta keep doing it until like the, the the process is in my mind you know your friend made this welcome friend okay then i do this i'm still not actually sure what my end goal is here with this puzzle but okay get this here we do that, and you do that, and as soon as it gets up, I wait. Uh, hang on a second. I need to. Why, Why are, are you taking, taking so long? long? Hey! Is the puzzle really, really that difficult? difficult? Shut up. I almost had it. Okay. Okay, that one only configures that. So once the truck is going up, I need to do. Hang on a second. Okay, that one makes it like that. So, I is my end goal this? So, if I hit this again... Yeah, I think my end goal is to hit this rock here. I think I, I, think I got it. It's just my... My brain is pressured. Game is teasing. You're taking too long. Now I gotta remember the start part again. I think I got it. I think I got it. I just have to wait for the right timing. Let the truck go up this way. Then we hit that. Then we do that. Hit it again so it goes over this way. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't hit the bottom one in time, so it didn't, like... It didn't connect right. Ah! Oh. I think I got it. I can take the help bear down. There we go. Wait for it to turn. Wait for it to turn. We got plenty of time for this. Gonna go that way. Gonna go this way. It's gonna go that way. And up that way. It could switch like that. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wrong one. Damn it. What's the one that hits the bottom thing there? Is it this one? Oh, yeah, it was. I'm annoyed. I almost had it. And then at the very last, I need to go here to make sure it it uh, hits the thing for the rock. But also make sure that this is out of the way. Wait. Wait, how on earth is that going to work? 
That's in the way. What what change is that? Oh no, I have to hit this one again at the last second. Okay, so as soon as the truck is done over here, I need to make sure I hit the switch so that like um uh, the truck has a path to the rock. I think I I get it. It's just my brain is having trouble doing it like uh, when it's actually in motion. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, if only I could slow down the game for a second here. Hush. Boop. Okay, do that. Then we do that. Wait for it. Then we do that. Let it go down. Hit the bottom one just once. Um. Damn it! Which one? I forget which one did, does that. Is it this? Yes, it is. I'm panicking. I can't remember which which one comes at a certain step. Ah. All right, there you go. Now hurry up and get there. Maybe we could use this time to hit the bottom one because I only need do need to hit it once, don't I? Do that. Do that. Do that. That. Can we do that. Wait. Oh, come on! I had it. I had it, but it was already over the thing. I had it! Ah, silly truck. Uh, this is, I don't have enough time to make this, I don't think. Oh, I do, actually. Hang on. Never mind. Okay, wait for this to go all the way down. Hit the truck thing like that. And the truck is like that. And there we go. See? It's done. Easy. Easy like Teddy and cookies. Oh, there was someone in there. Oh, this is a little awkward. It was just a puppet. It holds something in its hand. You got the elevator key. Finally! How long was I on that one for? Don't tell me. The terminal is offline. Well, the truck have found out that the goal is the beginning of something new. A lesson that everybody should learn. Cool. Make a save so I don't have to do that again. Has been unlocked with the key. What now? So, you're, you're done, done with, with the first, first floor. floor. You know, I'm impressed, but at the same time, disappointed as well. But don't you be worried. We still have a little more to go through. Maybe you can still satisfy me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New floor, new puzzles. I'm trying my best over here. I'm using my big teddy brain over here. Okay. Flashback? Haha! <laughs> You'll be a loser forever. That's not a very nice flashback. By the way, I found it interesting when I saw your face expression through the camera. Now I know exactly what you were thinking about. I'm curious to see how it continues. Alright. Turn it up slightly more if I can. Let's make another save. These cutscenes can't be skipped, apparently. Logic says I have to go in room 4, but I'm a rebel. Numbers don't tell me what to do. Tools have been used for the assembly of tracks. I know this is a very minor complaint, but everything is black and white except this box. It is clearly more beige. Box contains some pieces of the tracks that have been used in room 3. Old magnetic tapes have been stored here. They don't seem to have a purpose. Let's 
Seems like someone kicked over the trash bin in anger. You can see a dent in the other side. There's a lot of tools. Diary of a Captive, Part 2. This guy is playing games with me. These rooms, they are... He forced me to assemble some tracks since he needs them for a weird experiment. He is so morbid. I hope I will make it out alive. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here. I know why I'm here, but please, God, help me. Please, I know I didn't talk to you very often. Please have mercy on my soul. Asking God for help now? <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little too late. Here we go. Now, chat, if you ever find yourself in a spooky situation, the moment you start re leaving a diary that says, I hope I don't die, I've got some bad news for you. The narrative has already established what your point in the ro in the story is. Dear diary, I sure do hope that super angry killer monster I made doesn't escape the laboratory. Dear diary, it escaped. Our antenna life consists of single fragments that form a big picture. Can you reassemble this picture? Okay. Press escape B, uh, escape key or B to reset the room. Well, that's nice. A shortcut. What is this picture? It's colorful. I like puzzles. They're fun. Um, it looks like the face is uh brighter colors there. Hmm. Okay, I can push them out like that. Hang on. Do it like this. Yeah, I think this is like a shirt and a neck here. So let me move this over this way. Hmm. Not quite. That looks like an eye and an ear, but... Which one is, like, the front half of the face? I can't rotate the pieces, obviously. Could it be this? Maybe it's a side view face. That's why I can't see the other eye, and this is the nose. Hang on, let me reset and make sure I get a feel for this. All right, we can do it. Um, yeah, I think it's a side view head. That's, that's what this is. But is this the top? Um... It looks like it cuts off too abruptly to be the top of the picture. Okay, this go probably goes down one further. I'm gonna reset the room, so I just I just want to see if I can figure out what the face at least looks like as I'm putting it together. Hang on. Hmm. Okay, that, that is where the neck is? Am I seeing some crusty-looking uh, posture, I think? Okay, if that's the case, one of the black pieces must be the back of the hair there. Hmm. Are they telling me that this one has to be the corner when it's there, or... Let me see. What am I doing? I have a button to reset. Hmm. Let me push stuff out of the way. But not in a way where it's, like, locked in place. I think this one needs to be down one. Okay. That's the that, but hang on. First, I need to get that front part of the face there. Okay, that looks like it's right. Make sure we don't lock ourselves out of this. Okay. Now, is this the back of the head? The moment I put it in place, though, he's stuck. I want to say it's fine. Just in case, let me push this one down so I can reset it. Yeah, that looks right. 
Hmm. Oh, wait, no, that is the top part, because the way the perspective works. I see. Nothing needs to be on this tile here, then? I think? I think. Hmm. What are what are the remaining pieces though? I just don't know. I think this is a hand. I'm gonna push this down like this. Um, that kind of looks like it fits, but not quite. Hmm. It looks like, um, hang on. It looks like there's supposed to be another row on top. I think this might be near the bottom. It's like, this is the top of the head, and these two pieces are clearly, like, uh, adjacent to the top part to fit the rest of it. But I'm not sure if it wants the whole thing to stay within the lines or if I've already messed it up. But let me just see if these fit. Let me just see if they fit. Yeah, that's definitely where they're supposed to go. Or is it? That one kind of looks like it just cuts off abruptly. Yeah, but it fits the leaf pattern. But, uh... Hmm. Hang on. It's okay. We're gonna need to reset. Come on. Is that right? I can't quite tell. Because the middle part looks like it has that red part that cuts off at the very edge. I don't actually know. Hmm. Now, is this one a second face? No, wait. You see it in the corner of this? It connects to the face that I already have built. Okay, it's a hand against that face. I see it now. Which means this is the head of the other person. They're completely misplaced now, but seeing the, the whole picture is probably a good start. Two more pieces. Okay, so I need to shift everything down one. It needs to it needs to fall within the, the square perspective-wise. I see. Um, I'm gonna re have to reset it, but hey, maybe it won't count. Maybe it won't care. And other hilarious jokes I can tell myself. Oh. Yeah, I can't even get it in from this spot anyway. That's okay. We know what it looks like. We know what we need to do. Bottom of the shirt can go in the bottom line. Let me reset it. We know what to do. Just getting the whole thing together was a good start. Okay. Um, that's the neck. Put this here. This one goes over to the side. Puzzles are fun, chat. You push this here. Okay. Do this. Was it? And this is the top part of that one's head. Hmm. I build it a tile high. Oh, you're right. It's probably not going to fit now, is it? Hang on. If I push it here. What are you talking about earlier? Translator in chat. Welcome, friend. No, no, no. This one fits. Okay. I think you were talking to the previous attempt, weren't you? I just missed the message. Shrimp pose, perhaps, yes. Okay. Let me just move this one to the side. And this one over here. Okay. That's all right. No problem. Okay, I'll put that there.
Okay, and this one needs to go down one. Okay. Now first, I need this out of the way, and I need to get these two all the way around. I should have did these ones first. There we go. Now I gotta do this, or, you know, I could have did the other way, but it's too late. Puzzle. Make the picture, Batman. There we go. He's looking at me. What did I do? I melted his face. That was not my fault. It was the narrative's fault. You got the key for room five. Okay. Painting has been completed. You can see two faces you recognize. I recognize them. I think, I think that, that I, don't I don't have, have to, to say, say much, much about, about this picture. picture. Do, Do I? I? Well, I, the viewer, want to know. Is it me? An outdated class schedule hangs next to the door. Hang on, can I go this way first? Oh, big tombstone. Have I seen this tombstone somewhere before? It looks really familiar. Memorial plaque. List of every victim that was here. Everyone whose name is written on the memorial plaque is dead. You wonder if ever, anyone ever managed to escape from here. Maybe there's a chance. Yeah, they, they were, were all here. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Am, Am I interrupting, interrupting an, an emotional, emotional moment, moment right now? <laughs> yes. A mag uh, magnetic tapes have been ripped out of the rack. You wonder what kind of data was stored here. There. It does not feel like it's been almost 40 minutes already. I took a while on those puzzles, but that's why it's fun. What about this? Oh, room six and another elevator. What if I try the elevator again? You gonna stop me? No? Make save. Your name, John Puzzleman. You're about to puzzle your last puzzle to escape on the elevator. Well, we check this. Hang on, did I check this cushion? Doesn't look like there's anything I can do with it now. Door has been unlocked. Ah, uh, school. So, you're, you're glad, glad to, to see, see the, the visage of the classroom, classroom once more? <laughs> Who honestly would? I'll, I'll tell, tell you something. something. I, I never, never liked being, being there myself. myself. But, but I wish you a pleasant time. time. And, and don't, don't you dare skip any lesson. lesson. Well then, it should be a fun puzzle. Notebook of a schoolgirl, good heavens, this jerky teacher with his boring chemistry lessons. I just don't get names of these chemicals. How am I supposed to remember this crap? I mustn't uh, get an F or I won't pass this year. I just make some notes on what the single chemicals look like. This should be enough to get a decent grade, right? From last year, I remember Yapophil is reddish brown, but that's the only one I remember because the the name of it was so funny. Luckily, I was able to write down the basic chemicals for this year. So I know that apicosulfate is the beautiful light blue chemical. Chat, write this down. Write it down. Am Rena Renaskin has an aggressive color. I connect the word aggressive with red. It should be easy to remember. When I think about the citra acid, I recall the word citrus. And lemons are citrus fruits, which are yellow. Sounds silly, but that's how I connect this yellow to the chemical. But I struggle with, uh, Nerbifel. This one is green. No way to create mnemonic. I just have to remember it the old-fashioned way. Okay. Chemistry lesson. Step-by-step, step, how to produce a solidifying chemical. Oh, I need to pour it in the mold and make a key. First off, you need to fill some of... I already don't remember what color that was. 
into the glass container that is placed in the middle of the room. Then you need to add a mixture of that and citric acid. Subsequently, you need to add that one. And last chemistry lesson, we learned how to produce... Oh, that. Are these all made up or are they real? I can't tell you. Add that chemical next. Uh... Uh, it's produced by mixing this and citra acid. I can... I can make the V-Jolt in Resident Evil. I can make this. They're made up? Okay. If you have mixed all previous chemicals into the glass container, you can must proceed with a mysterious chemical, Enigma Acid. Uh, it's a great gray chemical. We already learned how to produce that in four last, last year. Uh, you are now halfway through. Oh, God. Now, in the second half, you'll need to produce and add Yapafil. I think that you remember from last year how to produce this chemical. The second last mix is Maro Methyl. It's a product of that and that. Now you pour Amrenasgen into the container. And the very last mix you need is uh, the Cetamphil, the Blend Nerbifel, and Apico Sulfate to get this chemical. Please remember that you can't mix chemicals that have already been mixed. The blender is, is using some certain substance to mix the chemicals. That's why it's not possible to mix chemicals over and over, since they would dissolve each other. Okay, you get all that, chat? What's the answer, smarty pants? <laughs> hmm? Come on, where's, the first, where's all the people that brag about doing it first try? <laughs> Ventilation shaft is sealed. There's no chance to escape. Just dump them all in the bucket. I, uh... I have remembered maybe two words from both of those notes. Huge glass container is in the middle of the room. It's connected with a casting mold behind it. Looks like a casting mold for a key. Okay. Let, first, let's make a table of contents. For, for uh, the colors. So, chat, get out your notebooks. I'm gonna need you to write this down. Be good little bears and help. Okay. Mustn't get an F or I won't pass this year. Yapafil is reddish brown. Write that down. Reddish brown, that means Yapafil's in town. Luckily, write it down for basic chemicals. Apicosulfate is the beautiful light blue. Okay, I don't have a rhyme for that because it, it, it sounds weird as hell. Light blue for Apicosulfate. Beautiful light blue. Am Ren Renaskin is an aggressive color. Okay. Am Am Renaskin is red. Red, everybody. Citra acid lemons. Citra lemons. That one's pretty easy. Uh, Nerbifel is green. When you don't know what it means, it re just remember Nerbifel is green. There you go. Okay, we got the colors written down. Now we gotta go with the steps. <laughs> And anyone remember the steps? Surely I can look at it in the middle of this, right? Chemistry lesson. Step-by-step -step solidifying chemical. First off, you need to put some apicosulfate. No, that's apicosulfate, not sulfate. This is a completely different chemical. No, I'm joking. Into the glass container that is placed in the middle of the room. Then you need to add a mixture of amrenaskin. Let me see here. Can I, like, walk away from this, or do I have to mash through the whole thing each time? Oh, God, I do. I wish I could look at, like, separate parts of the board for this. There's two A, a names, right? Um, Am... Am Renaskin is the red one, right? Apicosulfate was... Uh... That was the blue one, right? Yapafil is the reddish brown one. Which is a mixture. Appy is light blue. Am is red. Yeah, let's just abbreviate them. It's easier that way. Yap is the reddish brown, right? Uh green was uh ner ner uh the nerbifil. Seems you can use this appliance to mix chemicals. Okay, that's good. 
Let's just focus on one step at a time and just master the rest until we get back to where we need. Okay, chemistry lesson. First, let's let's pay attention to step one. First, we need Appy, which is blue. First step is to put some blue stuff in the middle. Then I need an, a mixture of red and yellow. Okay, remember that first step. First step, everybody. First step. That's all we're going to focus on. Let me just mash through this. Mash through this. Oh my god. Need test tubes. Okay. Two test tubes. Oh, okay. Okay. Put the blue chemical in here. And then I need a mixture of... Crap. <laughs> um, red and yellow. Mix them. Produced orange chemical. Okay, and then we put the orange chemical in with the blue. Okay, step one is complete. Let's get back to it. The real horror is having to sit through chemistry. Chemistry, yes. Chat, I've said this before. Chemistry was my least favorite subject in high school. I hated it. <laughs> I was not good at it. I didn't need to be good at it. It was easily my worst class. Okay, so... First off, we're done with this one. Next, we need to add uh, Nerbophil. And in the last chemistry lesson, we learned how to produce this. Add, add that chemical mix. Okay, so for the next step, we need to... Hang on a second. Uh, we need to add green. That is the next thing. Everyone write that down. Next step, add green. And then we need to add whatever the hell this is. How do we make it? Okay, green and yellow. Okay, that's all I'm going to look at. I'm not going to get confused by reading the rest of it. We're going to do it a little bit at a time. That's the best thing. So now we add green, and then we combine yellow and green for the next chemical. Yes. Then we mix them together. Violet chemical. Okay, see, we're making progress. Okay, so now let's get back to our spot. Then we did that. Next step, if you have mixed all previous chemicals into the glass container, you must produce the mysterious chemical, uh, the E acid there. Okay. Um, so how do we make this? It's a great chemical. We learned how to produce that in four last, in the four last year. We're now halfway through. Wait, I don't. How do I make it? Do I just combine everything? I need to make a gray chemical in there. That's what I need to do. Hang on. So I'm just gonna mash. This didn't say anything about a gray chemical, but you should get gray by mixing everything together, right? I hope. Okay, I can empty in the trash. Let me double check this. You see. Reddish brown. These are the basic chemicals. Okay. It just says we... This is this is why I failed chemistry in real life as well. Because the teacher would just say, we learned this last year. And I'm just supposed to know what the hell that means. Don't pour chemicals in trash. Yeah, you should probably put them down the sink or something. Provided that those chemicals are, are able to be disposed of that way. Like, even I know that. There we go. I guess we just mix them all. Let's do this. Reddish brown. Okay, well, I know how to make that one now, but I don't need that. I just need to make something that's gray, so let's pee in this one. They dissolved each other. Okay, so I guess I can trial and error, error this a little bit. Red violet chemical. Maybe add green. Uh oh. Did I miss a step somewhere? Because I didn't see anything about making a gray chemical. The sign just says we made it last year. What the hell does that mean? Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can't mix already mixed chemicals, right? If I re there's already a green one, what happens if I mix blue and yellow? Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it, everyone. I guess I pour the gray one in. This is the Enigma chemical. Okay, let's go back to this. I just had to figure it out a bit. Okay, I did that. I did that. Okay, now we make the acid. It's a gray chemical. We already learned how to produce that in four last year. You're now halfway through. We're halfway done, chat. We're doing it. In the second half, you need to produce and add Yapafil. Okay, that's the reddish-brown one. We, um... I mixed that a second ago. Was it red and green? Okay, first, let's just put in the Yapafil. We know it's the reddish-brown one. I just made it a second ago when I was trying to make the... other one. Okay, reddish-brown. Put in the Yapafil. Let's get back to where we were. This is like the V-Jolt times a thousand. <laughs> okay, the gray acid. Now we need to make the Yapafil. We put that in. The second last mix is Mar Maron Methyl. It's a product of the red and blue. Okay, Amren. Amren is red and Appy is blue, right? That That's what we have in our notes, I'm pretty sure. So... The mix. Hang on a second. I skipped the last one by accident. Hang on, let me check that again. Go back to that. Gray acid. Add the yep fill. Okay, combine red with blue to make maron methyl. Then you have to... Now you have to pour red into the container. So I combine... Red and blue, and then I just pour red in there. Okay. Let's just do that first. Okay. Don't make sure I read that correctly. Mix. Red violet. Am is just red, so we pour it in. Okay. We're at the last step. We got this. We got this. Okay, gray acid, halfway through, Yapafil added. Okay, this is the red and blue we just combined, and then we pour this regular red in there. And the very last mix you need is uh, Sethanthal. Blend green with blue to get this chemical. Okay, green and blue, and we're done. Green and blue. We did it, Teddies. Teddies win. We scienced. Bluish green chemical. Look at that. Oh no, this is why you don't pour chemicals in the frickin' trash chat. Have ignited. Yeah, I wonder why that happened. No, uh, you already done? Good job. Thought you would stay there forever. Uh, you think you're done with school? Huh. Oh boy, you have no idea. The entire life is a school. I hope not. Let's go over here now. Room number six, everybody. Let's make a save and check out the next puzzle. Welcome, Welcome to, to the dining room. room. The, the table, table is already set, set but not, not for you. you. Don't worry, this old couple over there, they're not real. Nonetheless, you're expecting that everything is perfectly prepared. So, would you be so kind? Okay, I gotta prepare dinner for the fake old people. This puppet resembles an old woman from Pokemon Gen 1. I mean, this puppet resembles an old woman. Her face is marked with deep wrinkles. Life-size puppet of a man with many uncanny details. Trash bin is empty. Why is this yellow? Conspicuous mirror is mounted on the wall. You see an alternate reality that could apply to this world. Oh. Oh, there's something behind the curtain. 
Hang on. No. Damn, I thought it was onto something there. So I need to make everything match in the mirror world? I guess that's what we're doing. Does that mean I push these guys? No. Hang on. Can I not check this again? Way too slow. Try again. Oh, wait, what? Was there a timer when I did that? Oh, I didn't even notice, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't. Windows appear as if there's freedom outside. So I have to match the room very quickly. I was looking for, like, a hidden thing, because I thought the mirror was showing there's something hidden down there. And this endless light blue sky is just a huge canvas. Windows appear as if there's freedom outside. Same deal. Telescope is covered by a black lens cap. There isn't anything to see anyways. There are books missing in the shelf. The spots without dust indicate that. Okay, so we're looking for everything we need to change. Uh, exhortations of unpaid bills are on the table. Plants from room one. Perhaps they've been moved to this room. Old books which have been scattered on the floor. So I need to bring the books to the shelf. Close the curtain. So the question is, I'm pretty sure I can't push the old couple. So I need to invert everything, right? Because it's showing me a mirror image. Yeah. Okay, so if that's the case, close the left thing. There's 25 seconds. I didn't see what else needs to be changed. <sighs> I guess I put the books on the shelf. Can't move those. Wait, this can be pushed? Crap, I didn't see where it goes. Can't turn on the TV from this side. Throw this in the trash. Okay. The TV was on. Trendy in the market. Okay. So we know I need to put the books away. Close um this curtain. Turn the TV on. Put the bills in the trash. What else is there? The chair needs to go to the opposite end. Okay. Go, go. Did I get everything? Uh, where did this go? I didn't see where the telescope went. Do I have to turn it on again? Damn it. The TV turned off. Where was the telescope? Okay, it's, it is, um, it is there. I see. Do that. Nope. Let me get the trash. Maybe the TV has to be last. Is that not it? We gotta check the mirror again. Anything else? Wait, the chair needs to be at the top. Oh, you're right. I was thinking inverted, not mirrored. Yeah, okay. Hang on. That's the one I got wrong. That noise is a little annoying. Yeah. Those tense me up. Okay, yeah, it needs to be up above the old woman. Okay. Turn the TV on last, I guess. I do it. I miss anything else? Did I, did I get it? I, I'm not sure if I got it. I did not get it. Um, what else was missing? Was there something with the plants? Um, was, hang on, what about the plates? Did the plates have anything different about them in the mirror? You see. Okay, no, the plates seem to be fine. Yeah, I don't have to push the button. 
thought I, it skipped automatically, but it doesn't. Okay, what am I missing here? The old man's plate has something on it. The woman's plate has nothing. Woman's plate is at the top. Am I supposed to push the plate, maybe? Yeah, you're right. It is It is wrong there. Okay, we'll do that then. Telescope there. Take the bills. There we go, I can. Okay, good. We did it. Hey, we did it! You found the elevator key. Oh, no! The head of the old man's puppet suddenly fell off the table. That's unfortunate. Very squishy. When, when you, you left, left the room, room I, I think, think I, I could, could see how that old couple smiled. I'm, I'm sure, sure they, they would, would like to say thank you, but they can't. Alrighty. Why is... What? What's going on back there? Is that a glitch or is that intentional? I actually don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Why is that out there now? Hmm. Just an RPG maker thing? So you're telling me I glitched the game. That's what you're telling me. Okay. Well, let's make a save. I don't know how close I am, but it's been an hour. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's sore. The second, the second floor, floor seems, seems to be finished, finished now. now. Well, and, and I already, already have to find more results. Hmm. Gang, gang. Flashback again. I'm causing you problems. So what? Just leave me alone. Screw that. This place was boring anyway. I don't care. I don't care about anything. I'm minding my own business. Mm hmm Chat, are you ready for more teddy puzzles? You better be. By the way, this is the last floor. Two more rooms await you here. And just for your info, you can find me here too. Two more rooms, chat. Two more rooms. Can the teddies win? Ooh. Somebody spilled strawberry jam on this floor. Diary of a Captive, Part 3. I understand now. I understand what I have to do in order to escape this place. It was his goal the whole time. Why didn't I think about it earlier? I will get out of here alive. I hope. He wants me to... The rest of the paper was torn off. Oh, for, for your, your info, info, I ripped out this page. It's like, like I said, I won't make, make it easy for you. you. Why'd you do that? Someone worked hard on that. I wanted to see it. Can I do the puzzles? Uh-oh. The, the one who learns, learns to move the light, light can dig up the truth. truth. Maybe even the shadows of your past will catch you up. Okay. What are we doing here? Eyeballs. Uh. Spell things. That one's blink. They're blinking. I was talking the other day, chat, about how the lore of my streams should be every time I beat a game, a teddy somewhere in the world is set free. So play games and save bears. That's what we're doing. Okay. I think I'm supposed to spell something. But, uh... Okay. It looks like it's rotating it. We're flipping that one back and forth.
So each switch seems to just switch one between two positions and rotate another one. Is it trying to say alive? Hmm. So I need the switch that rotates the middle one. Okay. Not this one. Okay. That's V. Okay, I think I got it. I got it. Almost. Most. Okay, that one's fine as is. Need to be able to... If I do... There we go, I got it. I big-brained that one super quickly. There's a hidden cubby hole in the wall. You want to put your hand in it, sure. I'm glad I realized that, like, each switch, uh, s like, flips one and rotates another one. Because I thought it was rotating all of them. Or rotating two at a time. An angel! Hi. Are you here to save me? Apparently not. You found the question mark key. Question mark key. There's no room question mark. Hmm. There's a small glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel. Really? The door has been unlocked. Hmm. It won't open anymore. Well, let's press on ahead and see what happens. There he is, my long-awaited guest. Hi. You see this door in front of you? This is the place where I control everything from. But you won't be able to come in. And now, I have you just where I wanted you to be. So, how was this journey for you so far? I don't think it was a pleasant time, but everybody felt like that. I like collecting people who have made wrong decisions and reflect those decisions in rooms, which I prepare specifically for them, just like with you. Oh. Now, let's talk about the decisions you have made. Let's start with room one, the family which was shattered due to the suicide of the boy. Maybe you remember the boy. A victim of bullying who could no longer handle all the pressure. He was bullied by his fellow students. Surely, that's not just your fault. Nonetheless, you were a part of it. Oh no. Interestingly, you took another look at the statue of the crying mother. Just as if you have reconsidered your actions. <laughs> but it's too late for that poor boy. Let's talk about room two. It took forever to set up the shooting range, and it took forever to make it run smoothly. In case you're wondering if you shot a real fawn, yes, but it was already seriously ill. It was better to end its suffering. I think you know what I was referring to with this room. You tortured a lot of animals out of pure boredom. Oh no! Something like that just can't be tolerated. Not the animals. In any case, you continued this behavior with the fawn. I could have sworn you had fun taking the key out of this dead animal. <sighs> Disgusting. Room 3 was too obvious. Back then, you and your friend threw rocks onto the highway. You hit a trucker who then had an accident. Up to this day, this poor guy is still in the hospital. He still doesn't know when he will be able to walk again. Uh -oh. That's what I said. The goal is the beginning of something new. 
So, did the puppet that flew out of the toy car get any attention from you? No. Just like with the trucker back then. You and your friend just ran away like cowards and left this poor guy alone. How about room four? I put a lot of effort into capturing you and your mother during this perfect moment. And I believe I did quite well, don't you think? Throughout the last few years you kept causing problems for your mother. You don't listen to her, you hurt her. Even if she always helps you and supports you in your dreams. You don't even deserve such a mother. Gratefulness has always been a foreign word for you. Nevertheless, you seem to miss her during that moment. How so, huh? Maybe your mother does mean something to you after all. I'm terrible. So, let's head to your school time. You know what I'm referring to? The day when you set your own classroom on fire. Oh no. You're lucky that nobody found out it was you. Otherwise, your mother would have even more trouble than now. Nonetheless, even the school's trap, imagine somebody would have died in the fire. Property damage would have been the lesser evil. Well, when the trash can caught fire, I could imagine that you thought about it. And about the consequences. And ultimately, there was room 6. I'm not sure if you understood that room. It was merely supposed to show you that you never cared about your environment. You don't help other people. You never thank anyone. You don't care about anything. As long as you're fine. You're just walking through your life selfishly. And despite knowing that there were only two puppets sitting in room 6, you looked at the old man more closely. Just why? Are you actually aware of your environment? No! Now, my conclusion to all of this. I think there's still hope left. Apparently, you are now aware about all the wrongdoing you've done in your life. You've done harm to many people and other creatures. But nonetheless, every person deserves a second chance, right? You really showed potential. Congratulations. Not everybody was that lucky. So, that's the exit. You can leave. Respect humans, animals, and you'll be fine. If not, I will come back. I recommend you to live a decent life. Believe me when I say it's worthwhile. By the way, don't forget your stuff. You'll find it in the next room. Well then, farewell. Alright. Hang on, can I go back and save? Like, is it an ending choice to choose which room to go into? There's no reason to go back? I guess not. Door is locked tight. You wonder how this room behind the door looks like. I guess I have to move on. I got the good ending? Oh, I did? There's. Is there a bad ending? Like, what happens? Did I have to, like... Mess up the puzzles more or something? Alright, that's good. My character's a monster, like he attacks animals too? This character would bully teddies! I- I can't st I can't tolerate that chat, this- this guy needs to go. You got your stuff back. Oh no- oh cool, I got a backpack. There's no reason to go back, guess so. Where am I going? Live a decent life. Thank you, Jigsaw. You taught me the way by taking my arm off. On the road. A good ending is about as ha happens by checking things after you finish the puzzle. Okay, so show reflecting on your actions is essentially what it what that means. Okay, that's cool. Hey, look, color. I can't move. This is a cutscene. Royalty free bird sounds. Heck yeah. 
Hang on, I should turn it down a tiny bit here. Bo -bo -bo. Well, that was neat. I finished it in just over an hour there. I'm surprised, um... Well, I had chat helping me write some stuff down. But, um... Normally, when I see something like a chemistry puzzle, I just, like, I absolutely do not have the patience for it. But I I was feeling good for it. I wanted to do it. Look at that. RPGMakerWeb.com. That was a fun little thing. I like getting to try out more things like this, because you don't see too many games like this nowadays. Voice acting. Oh, okay. Mr. Prince did voice both um all that by the way did mr prince do the voice of the uh the serial killer hypno in nightfall because i don't um i i remember it was only dubbed in german though but uh he did oh, okay now i'm just imagine the serial killer hypno on the uh the microphone oh hey zargoff worked on graphics too zargoff is the um dev for pokemon nightmare invasion another one you should check out Cave theme by this person, licensed by that. Oh, licensed? Okay, well, I hope they don't, uh, I hope they don't claim me. Because if it's licensed, uh, hang on. I'm just gonna turn it down and play it safe. Okay. Because licensed means the dev can use it, but, uh, then they claim everyone on YouTube. Field of Dreams by this. I've talked over enough anyway. It should be fine. Content. Blah, 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 blah. Helped him with the grammar. Thank you very much, friend. We have translators in chat. Reminder. Boop, boop. Sounds, birds and winds, ambient. Ambient scares me. There we go. Music plays so little during this one that if anything does get claimed, worst case scenario, I'll just have to like mute the video for a couple seconds, I'd say. It should be fine. There wasn't really any audio or sorry, background music during the uh the dialogue, so it's cool. There's a lot of random sounds here, I don't remember. Engine start, elevator creepy. Alrighty. Everyone will get you. Ball, balling scream, Nosferatu sound, fire, and oh, that's just the RPG sound effects. I recognize those. Pardon me, I'm hiccuping a bit. I wanted to pick some short stuff today because last uh, last spooky day we did last week. Uh, I played, I did like an eight-hour stream playing um, uh, a point-and-click adventure game all the way through. And I, it was right after I promised I'd do a short stream, too, so. Making sure we stick with that. That hour flew by. I'm surprised I didn't get stuck more on some of those puzzles by Mr. Prinz. They made their own sounds there, too. Pistol. Pouring water. There's a lot of these per page here, isn't there? Anyways, that doesn't matter. I love how I can also just throw terms like serial killer hypno. I, that's intentional, by the way. I do that so people will be like, well, now I have to watch the Pokemon Dusk series to know what the hell he's talking about. That sounds cool. With a protagonist, the ending he deserves. No, I don't think I should play through the whole thing again, especially since you, can, um, you can't skip cutscenes, so... It's easier if I just, like... I, I accept the good ending. The protagonist is not a very good person, clearly. You could say he, in fact, he's a sinner. Um, just hope he learns his lessons and he stays far away from teddy bears. I thought the puzzles were neat. Go. Uh, the one I struggled with the most was the train one, I'd say. There we go. Fair enough. Hear what happens in the bad ending. Yeah, yeah, sure. But that's fine. You can tell me. You can tell me. I don't want to go through the whole thing again because we got a couple other things. Thank you to all these people. And then Lucario Kid Gaming just sitting there at the bottom. Thank you to more people. Thank you to more people. Thank you to more people. <laughs> all right. Undertale Doppet. Lucario. Hang on. Zuli. Is that just the last name there? They couldn't fit that on the last page, I guess. There we go. Special thanks to these people. Hey! That's right. You did. Miner did tell me Print Mr. Prince has a kid now. I guess now we know that their kid's name is Adam. And then there's all their socials right there. Contact. He has two kids. Oh, okay. 
Maybe that was mentioned, but I missed that before. Excellent. Boop, 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 boop. RPG stars. There we go. Sorry, I had the volume low for that, but he said he was going to keep watching me. Did you hear that, chat? Mr. Prince says he's going to keep watching the stream. Cool. Try to beat the dungeon in 30 minutes or less. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh, I'm not memorizing the I'm not memorizing the chemistry code for that right quick. That's cool, though. Let me see here. All right. Anything else? Uh, bad ending, we'll have Radio Guy getting hella furious at you at the end, and the floor slowly disappears in the judgment room. Okay, so he just, like, opens the floor, and I fall into a spike pit, like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Does the- does the Saw theme play when it happens? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, but that was a neat little game. Fun to play a little short stuff like this every now and then. Um, let me see here. Again, this is an original one. It's on Steam. You can definitely see um, how some of the Pokemon sprites were used as a basis for some things, for, for sure. <laughs> but um, even, like, again, the menu and everything, it's exactly what's used for Pokemon Dusk, Dawn, and Nightfall. Anyways, let me just get this over here. Um, They were changed to make it more original. So, it, wait, it originally started as a Pokemon game, and it was changed to be original later on. I, okay, I understand. That's cool. Anyways, it's kind of a <laughs> weird to imagine this in Pokemon lore universe. The deer would become a deerling or something. Anyways, we got some more games for the day. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. Take a quick break. If you're watching on YouTube, have a good night. Bye-bye.